In this video, you will learn how to do a behind the back crossover. The behind the back crossover is often used to protect the ball when an opponent is putting you under pressure and you don't have enough space to do a basic crossover. To perform a good behind the back crossover, remember these two steps. Initiating the movement with your arm and making a good crossover. First, initiating the movement. After a standard dribble, put your hand on the outer side of the ball. Follow the ball with your arm in a circular motion while it goes behind your back, as if you wanted to put your hand in your opposite back pocket. Do not put your hand underneath the ball or you will be considered to be committing the violation of carrying the ball. Second, making a good crossover. As in a classic crossover, your crossover dribble has to be low and fast. Pass the ball lower than your buttocks. The ball must bounce next to the opposite foot to your dribbling hand as you dodge your opponent by changing your pace and direction. Catch the ball with your weaker hand. When you're comfortable, start reducing the circular arm movements little by little to cross over even faster. To start, practice dribbling in circles and doing behind the back crossovers. When you feel comfortable doing this, cross half the court changing directions and practicing behind the back crossovers, first with your strong hand, then with your weaker hand. To master the behind the back crossover, why not practice with an opponent to get used to protecting the ball effectively? Over to you.